Okay, my okay, my fan blower's not working. My GL four twenty. And I just took this cover off. And under here, I don't know if you can see that, but that to me looks like dirt. So there's dirty water or for some reason grease. So I'm going to take this blower motor off under here. This is the passenger side in the UK. And Check it out. Okay, so I've just undone the four torque screws that are holding it in. It's T20 to get those four out. Disconnect the wires and there's a cable tie holding your wires on. If you release that, it'll come down and then we'll have a look. Okay, there's a quick note. It's a quick note if you don't undo that cable tie first, it'll pull down this vent. Which uh, must be the temperature sensor, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't know, I think that looks corroded to me. Mm, no. Maybe it's just orange. Dunno. I might try and clean that with uh, some contact cleaner. I'll take it out and have a look at it I think. But make sure you support this. Otherwise it'll pull that out. And then go try and get it back under there. Okay, I'll just undo this. And then we take the Blower motor apart. Okay, I just disconnected it from that uh, cable tie on there. And this thing is filthy. It smells like dirt. But when I had my head in that bit while I was undoing that, that smells like circuit board. So I'm guessing some water has got inside here. So I'll take these two T20 torque bits off and undo these clips. And I'll show you inside and we'll see what it's like. Actually, these ones are a T10. Okay, I've got the, these undone. These don't seem to be clipped for some reason. So, uh, oh, hi. Okay, let's bring something to the light. Uh, that is fried. That is absolutely 100% dead. And I wouldn't even try and fix that. So, so I'm guessing the water has come in because that vent on the bonnet uh, my driveway is on the slope so I'm guessing condensation maybe from where the, the drain is up there uh, the blow motor sits. Um, maybe it's got through the filters. Um, where there's water sat there, um, not draining away, maybe because it's on slant. Maybe some of it's got down into here, burnt it out. Uh, I've got a parasitic drawer on the car so the battery goes dead after at least a day it's a brand new battery uh, and for some reason there's a one amp drawer which is huge 
and I don't know whether it will be this I do have to I've got the battery on charge and I do have to um, stop pulling the fuses because uh, to find the draw you have to have battery obviously charging the battery um, and then go to the fuses um, or locate all the fuses uh, connect a voltmeter to your battery um, which will tell you the draw and start pulling the fuses and as soon as that draw stops identify what the fuse is for and that will tell you either what you need to repair or just leave it unplugged if it's not important uh, obviously I'm going to have to that wasn't very loud then um, obviously I'm going to have to replace this and maybe it was our draw but we'll have to see but maybe uh, it looks rusty there as well yeah but that's the reason that stunk when I put my head in it of circuit board because that is burnt so I will post an update whether because I'm going to leave this out till I get a new one and I will post an update if my battery keeps a charge because at the minute I have to use this as a battery on charge it's actually repairing the battery but I have to use this every time to start my car at the minute because after a day it's literally completely dead. The clock's not on. Well, the clock's not working. Obviously it is on on because it's uh nine o'clock. Yeah, so keep you posted on that update if you're interested.